All right, back again, Luke here. Today what I want to do is show you guys how to convert a regular JAMA harness to something you can use on a Neo Geo MBS board. Now, for the most part, these JAMA harnesses are wired up to fit a, uh, a JAMA board, and they will work on a Neo Geo board, uh, except for the fact that the sound is uh, a bit messed up. Now, what I mean by that is one of the wires on the JAMA harness is connected to a positive, uh, an audio positive, and an audio negative, and on the Neo Geo, it's actually uh, audio positive and a test switch. So by having this hooked up normally just on a regular JAMA harness and plugging it into a MBS board, you'll have a lot of audio issues. Uh, to kind of show you what I mean here, this is just a standard harness and uh, it's hooked up to my super gun here. But uh, I figured we'll plug this in here and I'll let you see what I mean by uh, the problems that this thing has. So let's uh, plug this thing in and we'll hit the switch and I'll let you hear the sound issues that you would normally have if you try and plug a regular straight JAMA harness into a Neo Geo MBS board. And here is what I mean. So, if you can hear, it's missing some of the bass line. And you're only getting a partial sound from this. And the reason why is because the sound is being bridged onto a point where it shouldn't be. Even here. So. And as you can hear, it says Super Sidekicks 2, but it's really, really low. So, the main problem with that is the fact that the wire for the ground on the regular JAMA harness is actually uh, not a ground on a Neo Geo MBS board, it's a test switch. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to desolder uh, this point here, which happens to be uh, M, it's point M. And on the other side here, this is uh, number 11. So this will be your audio positive or your uh, audio uh, plus normally. And this will be your, uh, your uh, ground for regular JAMA. But on the MVS board, this is actually a test switch. So we're gonna have to desolder this one. So let's kind of pop this off here. Just take this off. And what I recommend doing is, so you can play both boards, uh, regular JAMA boards and MVS boards, I recommend maybe putting some sort of uh, easy connect and disconnect on this, and maybe an easy connect on this as well. Since this is going to be our audio ground, just to show you, what I'm going to do is just simply, for right now, I'm just going to push this in through the negative part on the uh, the JAMA harness. So that's our negative now. There's nothing connected to the uh, test switch which would be on the MVS board and let's see what we get here. Let's try and get this thing in. And we'll kill the lights again. And let's turn this thing on again. So as you can see, it's got much more sound now. Much louder. And as you can see and hear... We, Super Sidekicks 2! We have our bass line back. So, uh, just a simple thing, uh, just uh, changing around that one wire has made a huge difference. Now, I don't re recommend like keeping it like this, this is just for demonstration purposes here, but uh, I recommend maybe putting an easy connector, uh, disconnect maybe on one of these ground points here, and an easy connector disconnect on that uh, point M, and that will allow you to switch back and forth, maybe label one of them uh, Neo Geo, and then label the other one uh, M uh, regular uh, JAMA, and that'll allow you to switch back and forth. But just something really simple here, 
but uh, makes a world of difference, especially when you first plug these boards in and you think, oh geez, well, you know, why is my sound all messed up? Is my board? But uh, in fact, it's just the JAMA harness here. Now, if you have something like this, this is a four slot board. Actually, I have some paper in here. Uh, I just pulled this thing out of my storage unit, but uh, if you have a four slot board, what you're gonna need to do, um, if you'd like, is uh, install a, uh, a select switch. Now what the select switch will do is allow you to switch from each board, and this is something really important, especially if you don't wanna watch the intros to every single game. Uh, if you don't have a test switch hooked up, you have to watch the intro to each game and then wait until the next game loads, and then when you put in a coin, it'll stay on that game. But if you wanna hook up a test switch, it's really simple. On a regular JAMA uh, harness here, there's two, uh, two slots that are not used, and those are uh, small d, I don't know if you can read this or not, there's a lowercase d, and this thing's probably not going to focus, lowercase d right there, and on the other side is 26. And both of these pins aren't used on regular JAMA, but for a Neo Geo MVS 4-slot or 6-slot, 2-slot uh, board, you'll need to wire up uh, some kind of button. You could use just a regular button, for example, just a regular switch here. Just wire one up to uh, D, uh, lowercase d, and then the other one up to uh, 26. And then when you put in a coin, if you press this button, it'll allow you to switch between the different games. But that's just something, uh, if you feel like installing, it's something I recommend. For single slot boards, you don't have to worry about that, but for two, four, six slot boards, you'll definitely have to install that. So, just want to make a quick video here to help you guys out. Anyone who's having trouble with trying to hook up a regular JAMA harness to a Neo Geo MVS board and wondering why you have sound issues, but basically it's a really simple fix and uh, it doesn't take much time at all. But, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Do do do.